Welcome to the SHOT Show TV. I'm David Lombardo, and our guest is Ryan Kleckner, who is with Gunn University. I think this Gunn University thing is really interesting, and I hadn't heard about sure. it, so tell us about Gunn University. I appreciate that. Gunn University is similar to some other websites that allows you to come learn and read about product reviews, maybe decide what's best for you and even how to use it. But what we try to do different is we take no advertisers and we don't charge anything. Where the information is out there for free for anyone to use. And one of the reasons we don't take advertisers is we think that every once in a while there are bad guns or sure. bad products. And yeah. we saw that there's a little bit of a trend in the industry, not everywhere, but there's a little bit of a trend in the industry that any product that comes out is just the new best thing. And the next product that comes out, that's even better. And we think that new people getting into shooting have no idea where to start. They want to get their first gun. If they try to believe every review and every gun is the best gun, mm -hmm. that doesn't help. Or if we're not taking articles and they're talking about, well, you got a gun, that's great, but have you thought about how to store it safely at home? Or have you gotten some good eye and ear protection? Or here are places to go find classes and train. We realized that was missing, so we put it together and we give guns grades and even gun accessories grades with a report card and an A plus or a C minus for every single product we review. And much like Rotten Tomatoes does for movies, we allow you, the reader, to come along and tell us if we got the grade right. Tell us what grade you think the gun is. And so you can come to our website and you can sort by, all. I want all handguns for self-defense that got a B plus or above. And you can see what the readers say, you can say what we say, and hopefully helps you make an informed decision. Is, is this you or do you have people working with you? How does that work? A, a whole team of people working with us. It, the, the website is owned and started by me and my business partner and it, it's great working with him. He understands all the search terms and the marketing and the website side of things and hopefully I understand the guns just as much. And so by having both of us together, we can put out a better experience. And one example is he was fairly new to firearms. He's come a long way and he's doing great with guns now, but he's enjoyed learning and I like that we have him and some of our other team members sure. aren't gun experts. So for example, we were doing scope reviews and how to zero a scope to the rifle and maybe even what scope is the best for you. But he came up with the question, how do I mount it? Here's my scope, here's my rifle, what do I do? And those yeah. are some things that we might take for granted because we just know how to do it. So then I write an article and I walk people through each step of the process of how I would mount a scope. Well, then the next question came up, how do I figure out the scope rings? I found the scope I wanted and the rifle I wanted, but as we talked about before, there are myriad options of scope rings. Yeah. Is it too high? Is it too short? Is it the right interface? Does it match that base? Is it? It's too tough to do. So we spent the last year and a half on the scope ring finder, and it's now live. You can come to this for free on Gun University, and you can enter the scope you have and the rifle you have, and our software takes into account the barrel profile, the objective lens size, the bolt lift clearance, everything and it shows you every ring and base that will fit your system. And you can filter that by price and by color and whatever you want, and it shows live inventory prices and where to buy it. And these are the things we're trying to put out there, and yeah. I appreciate you helping us share the word about it. Interesting. Now, you're also an attorney, and you have sort of a passion here. Guilty, yeah. Let's talk a little bit about your, your passion as an attorney. So as an attorney, the only part, only type of attorney I like being is helping the firearms industry. So I don't do Second Amendment law, it's just not what I practice. I don't do anything for criminal. I help FFLs get their FFLs, stay compliant with the ATF, ITAR, State Department, all those kind of things. So part of me runs online courses that help all these companies stay in business and stay out of trouble at Rocket FFL. But the other part of me uses things like Gun University or bigger national publications. You know, do a, a Fox News or The Federalist. I'll help them understand gun laws and what's going on there. Like the most recent thing, the pistol braces. I, I've been asked yeah. all day while I'm here about pistol braces and what's going to happen. ATF is, do I even have to say it? They just, they go off the deep end. I don't know, what, what is going to happen with this? So this one's tough. Uh, this one's really tough. I've been, I've been caught before sympathizing with the ATF occasionally in that they're stuck enforcing the laws that are before them. There sure. are some things in the Gun Control Act and the National Firearms Act that are a little inconsistent and they're stuck having to thread the needle and put that into practice and occasionally I sympathize with them. But lately, especially with things like this pistol brace ruling, where we have 300 pages they just published a couple days ago, yeah. trying to explain and draw a bright line about what's a pistol brace and what's not, I think it's confused more people. 
I think they have no legal authority to do what they're doing. And that's just not because I don't like gun laws. They're even offering to give an amnesty. Well, here, back up, big picture. They're trying to call most pistol braces butt stocks. So the big effect is most of these AR style rifles or those platforms that we've been able to use as a pistol because the pistol brace has not been a buttstock, they're now reclassifying those and calling them buttstocks, which would turn all those firearms into short barreled rifles. And which then are, you got another problem. Then you have to register the short barreled rifle right. through the NFA and things like that. Well, one of the problems is people, millions and millions of Americans, have relied upon the ATF in writing saying these are not buttstocks. They are pistol braces. They're yeah. legal to purchase, they're legal to use. That's one problem. Now they just changed their mind. The other problem is they're saying things like, well, you have to register as a short barreled rifle, but we will give you a kind of an amnesty on the fee. You don't have to pay the 200 bucks. We'll waive the $200 fee. That sounds like good news. I like the sound of that. But legally, I don't understand how that could even happen. They're not allowed to just yeah, say the taxes well, apply because the law is here. So that's just step one of the example all the way down the list. We have a breakdown on Gun University and we made another free tool, software, a calculator because the ATF uses a scorecard system to determine the legality of a brace, and it's hard to interpret. So we made a calculator that you can go down and you can enter the features of your rifle, and at the end it'll say, congratulations, it's not a pistol brace, or bad news, it's a stock. And then we go to the next step, which is, what do you do now? Okay, my pistol brace is a buttstock. Am I in trouble? Am I supposed to destroy it? What, what, what can I do? And we give the next steps. So if somebody wants to get a hold of you, they want some more information, how do they do that? Every single project comes down to that center gun university. Everything about FFLs, everything about ATF, how to get started with firearms, all that is gununiversity.com. Ryan Kleckner, Thanks. appreciate you being on appreciate the show. Appreciate you having me on. And for SHOT Show TV, I'm David Lombardo.